I'll leave it as that. Right, let's head to the east and start getting on with things. There's plenty of distractions, as you can see, in all directions. Uh, fun things to do, but, um, as we know, I'm trying to rush this a bit. So, let's fire these guys. Bang, look at that. Yeah, they're pretty good. Kind of ironic actually that in a way this is the first King's Bounty style game I'm actually playing because while I have mucked around with the original King's Bounty uh, uh, on uh, Amiga, PC and oh, I think I mucked around with the uh, Genesis Mega Drive version as well um, back in the day, I um, oh, do I head up there yet? No, I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, I uh, you know I haven't uh, I've never played a serious game of it. I can smell horse dung, feels like home. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy that. Oh, I need to go here. And I own all the new ones. Uh, as you approach the stables, the headgroom appears, leading to a fine looking war horse. The steed will help you uh, speed you in your travels. Lasses and drones will win with heavy riding, you must return for a fresh mount within a week. Um, not mount week. <laughs> mount week, that sounds like a good time. Um, We'll go down here and get some gold, and we're gonna bust through here because everything. Oh, no, hang on, I'm just gonna check. Uh, okay, no, I'm gonna cross road stables, and I need to get to that fort. This is all part of the opening mission stuff because the reason I'm rushing to this extra fort mission, we're not gonna go after Herbert yet, because you can get cavalry really early in the game. And for Heroes Might Magic and Palm Kingdom fans, you'll know that the cavalry is the human's second best unit. It's very fast and strong uh, compared to you know other human units, so it's it gives you a nice early game advantage. Then we get rid of these stupid peasants. Now, these are dwarves, quite sturdy. They got 20 health. Look at that attack and defense. They're like the second best unit of the sorceress uh, forest race. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was not very efficient killing them. Actually, it's not too bad because I can pretty much kill. Oh, look at that, these guys are useless. I'm gonna get rid of them as soon as I can as well. They were bad enough with three, and then Rognak had to get off the journey, didn't he? Oh, I think not, mister. I've got extra morale. Oh, yeah, see? And I've got not so extra morale because I'm mixing too many races. Um, that's why I need leadership as soon as possible. Captain useless. But can you kill that guy? Yeah, you actually killed him. Jeez, he might get a run on me because of the negative morale. Oh, no. oh come on! No, no, no! Oh, God. Good, good, good. Oh, no. Not good, not good, not good. I'll need to deploy you guys in a minute. Wait. Defend. Yeah, go hit the Yurk guys. They can take it. Oh, okay. Crisis averted. We got him. Whew. Oh yeah, I should have. This? The swamp, the king's court, Herbert's castle, fort, Wiltshire, and the central mines. Fair enough. Yeah, go this way. Gold, gold, gold. Oh no, I gotta take them down, don't I? These guys actually want to join you, but they're useless. They're just not enough of them. Now, this is going to be a bit scary. Griffins are strong. They fly. And I've got really bad morale right now. You know what? Why don't I make things easier on myself and get rid of this? They're just useless. They're really, you know... Think about how many bad morale things that cost me in that battle from critical units just to get off a shot from a wolf rider that did jack. Um, so, yeah, we're going to amend that, aren't we? That should help a bit. Although I think it describes it in the instru in the um, the game as um, units that don't like each other, so I'm not quite sure whether there's something like a little more specific, or whether they're just that's just a, a way of describing the fact that um, mixing too many races will lower your morale, just like in Heroes of Might and Magic. 
Anyway, let's do this. Oh, good. That's not too bad. Good. Ooh, we nearly took him out. Nice job, guys. Wait. No. Defend. It's just useless with peasants. They're so slow that the wait command just... <laughs> you would only be good if you're fighting other peasants, probably. Oh, that's right. You know, go after the peasants. I'm going to get rid of them soon, anyway. Replace you with cavalry. Ow! Oh, did I lose an archer, then? Wait. Kill. Okay. There we go. Didn't need you in the end. I couldn't risk doing a, a frontal attack because he's just weakened when he does a hand attack. He's just not very good at that. I think it's like um, range units only do half damage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And so there was a chance the Griffin might have taken it. He probably would have killed him, but I just didn't want to take the chance. Because if the Griffin took the hit, he then retaliate. And look at him, he's on the verge of lose of dying. So, yeah. In fact, I think I may have already lost one all. No, no, it started with 7-7. Seven, seven, added them together, 14. So, yeah, no, I haven't lost anything. I just held out. Um, Alright, now. Oh, God, there's another Griffin here. I didn't even see him. You idiot, Daniel. Um, oh, I think he went for the peasants. Here I am talking, and then I'm like, hang on, why is the battle still going? Yeah, because uh, he didn't kill everyone. So I lost 20 of them. That's okay. Acceptable casualties. Ah, ha, 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 Yes, please. So if you're going for a, um, a range strategy, this is critical. Because as you level it up, I think it gets up to something like 30 or 50% or something, which, as you can imagine, if you're doing a primary range attack, that's going to give you a huge amount of extra damage. So, yes, please. Du, du, du. Money, money, money. Alright, here we go. Here's the fort. That looks like an upgraded pikeman. The guard on the gate notices the royal archers in your group and greets you. I see you're coming from the king's court. I have very important report for Paladin Maximus, but I can't leave my duty. If you carry it to him on the way back, you will be generously rewarded with fine equipment. I like the sound of that. Here, take the scroll with the report. Please don't lose it. Major scroll of knowledge. I don't... Now, sadly, I think all these buildings are disabled until you complete the quest, so there's no point in me entering the, the fort. I just should run back, deliver the report, get my cavalry, stop by the stables on the way back, too. Ooh, here we go. You pass the report from Fort Wiltshire to the guards. They read it carefully and tell you, escort the Royal Cavalry to the fort this instant. Looks like they will need reinforcements. And you get a big experience hit and a beautiful cavalry. Now look at this. I mean, I'm going to replace these peasants with this. Look at that. Lots of attack and defense, strong amount of damage, 40 hit points. And they're very fast. That is faster than everything we got. And just like in Heroes of Might, Magic, and Palm Kingdoms, they're sp they have the special ability where the more distance they travel to get to an enemy in battle, plus five percent damage because you know sort of like the cavalry is just you know gaining speed and then it'll just hit them all the harder with their lances well that looks more like a spear um, in this game but anyway um, so that is very very useful so uh, well, shall we get some more How, how's the money looking oh yeah yeah let's let's get some more stuff eh? 20 arches yes please Oh, no, I'll split them now. Let's do it. 25. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Rice is nice. I'm going to head up here because there's a bit of money. And I want this fort. Um, not this fort, this um, observation tower. Look at that. Look at how far he can go. And now I can outweight those peasants. I might put him in a better spot once so I've dealt with them. I've got to get rid of these peasants in a minute. Now this is another recommended strategy I um, suggest you guys use. Oh, he's still too far away. Um, and that is uh, observation towers have an, uh, a few extra abilities. Uh, very useful, which I'll show you now. Firstly, they do what you expect them to do, just like in Heroes of Might and Magic. They um, 
reveal a massive area around you, very useful. Um, but a special thing unique to Palm Kingdoms and King's Bounty, uh, or King's Bounty, Royal Bounty, is that um, they give you a little movement bonus. So that's very important in a game like this. But then there's an extra little bonus here. If I leave, and then go back, look at this. You can garrison things, much like with mines and things in Heroes of Mine Magic, if you return to mines that you own in the later games, you can garrison troops in them. Now, in a game like this, there aren't really many mines around because they want you to be starved for resources because they generally just use resources for quests. Um, but uh, in a game like this, some, a place where you can garrison units is incredibly important because in a game like this, you're constantly having to choose and make sacrifices. You've found some new you butte unit that you really want and you're going to have to like get rid of it to um, get rid of something else to make room for it. And there might be things you don't want to get rid of. And as you go through the different worlds and chapters in this game, you might enter areas where a particular unit you love is just not effective against the kind of things you're fighting, whereas something you previously got rid of might have been great against them. So this protects you from that. So I strongly recommend you use these observation towers as storage, and you'll find several more as you progress through the game. So you can just offload things you don't want anymore. So we're going to... I mean, I'm probably... I'm pretty sure we'll never need peasants again, but um, just to be safe, there's plenty of room. I'm going to put them uh, put them there. I'm put the cavalry more towards the centre. All right, there we go. There we go. I haven't actually checked into this whether, um, because in Heroes of Might Magic, the speed of your hero per day is dependent on what units you're carrying. So by getting rid of those peasants, we, uh, I'm not sure if this has the same system. Um, I haven't done uh, that much experimentation, but uh, if it does, then getting rid of the slowest units in your army should have a benefit on your day-to-day -day, uh, travels in this game as well. Now, I'm going to visit this. For speed. And now I'm going to head up here, because elves are an extremely useful unit, and I know that there's an elven hut up here. We want that. We've just got to fight some wolves to get to it, and I think we're strong enough to get the job done. And then that should get us in pretty good stead for the uh, Fort Wilkshire stuff. Wait. Now, let's check out. Uh, these are white wolves that, in this, in this series, Palm Kingdoms and Royal Bounty, are a wizard race unit, which is interesting. Um, attack 5 and 4, damage 2 to 3, health 15, speed 6, and what it doesn't tell you there is that they attack twice, just like the traditional wolves. Wait, and what was their speed? It is slower than my cavalry, so I can outweight them with the cavalry. Now let's start getting, bringing them down. Look at that, nice. Nice job, guys. Here they come. Please don't get a morale bonus. Yeah. Charge! <laughs> I don't care about one. Look at that. him down. How good is the cavalry? Now you can see why I rushed to the fort mission. Because straight away you can get cavalry in the early game and then just go and kick everyone's butt. Oh yes please. Advanced logistics. Absolutely important in a game like this. Extra movement points per day. Very, very important. Now, give me the gold. Now, this is a Dwarven hut here. And I've seen a few other playthroughs, and even the official walkthrough for this game recommend you pick them up. But uh, I'm not going to bother. Uh, they're slow, and I believe that I can use effective strategies without them. Oh, baby. Because you want to spend your money on these guys. They are good. Now, we can't quite get to there. You've got to get through them, and I'm not willing to take on more of those griffins right now. Plus, there's more there than what we were engaging earlier, believe me. So, now, let's check out what I've just purchased, guys. These are very good. So, I'm going to combine these again and split these guys instead. Um, oh, actually, let's do a comparison. So, standard archer does sh shoots twice and does two to three damage. So, this is the elf. Shoots twice, just like we expect, or veterans will expect. Um, but look at the health, much better health, and they uh, they do 2 to 4, so they do more damage, just a bit. And uh, the attack and defense is 5, so they're pretty much going to do a similar amount of damage. Should I keep them as one then? Who do I want to split? Might already be ready to get rid of these yak guys, to be honest. Hmm. Not yet, not yet. Um... Oh, I'm so indecisive. 
If they're doing similar amounts of damage, then I'll, um, I'm going to split these guys still. I was hoping for a bit more elves, possibly in my other game, because I was gallivanting around so much. There were more elves in that homestead, so the decision was just, you know, it was easy. It was a slam dunk. That's okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. No, yep, yeah, we visited there. So, let's get back to that fort, guys. I know there's another elven hut down here somewhere, but you got to get through a lot of crap to uh, get to it. I'm trying to be quick here. But, jeez, I've already reached the 50-minute uh, the mark, and, um... We're not as far as I wanted us to be. Alright, here we go. So, we've got our... Uh, I think I have to visit here to complete the quest? I think. That should give me access to everything. Uh, oh, I got that wrong. That's just another quest. Alright, let's try here. Thank you for delivering the report. You can go inside the armory. There we go. Look at that. That was a big experience boost. We might get a couple of things here. Uh, that's useful. Taking hits. Reduce the damage done against us. And then the f uh, it's done its regular uh, boost of two defense. That's excellent. We're getting nice and strong in our defense now. Uh, the armory. Yeah, fort visited. Alright, so I just went there and got a quest. Sorry I rushed through that. So that was um, bring ingredients to the Apocryphy. Yeah. Old man with glasses greets you. Unfortunately, we're out of stock. We normally offer a variety of medicines, soul healing pow uh, powders, elixirs of happiness, mixtures for talking to dead spirits, and even our special nose enlargement pills. <laughs> the, uh, the new ingredients are expected in a couple of months, but if you bring me some sulfur and swamp herbs, I can mix you our special brew. So, uh, yes, that's telling you to go to the swamp to get some stuff, pretty much. Uh, that's what we got from there. So we're not going to get the benefits of that until we complete that quest. This is, um... Yeah, I've completed the mission, numbnuts. Um, and this gives you mercenary guys, which are like a strong fighting thing, but, you know, I just feel like they've been invalidated by the fact I've got 10 cavalry, so, uh, well, a lot of the other players I've seen in videos and, and I think in the walkthrough tell you to get this one. I think this is actually more useful to go after in high difficulty settings. Um, but, uh, yeah, for me, not important. Here we go. Look at this. This is a money-making building, but sadly you've got to visit it. So, of course, it's not like you can just keep running back here every week because it's a massive map. So just collect it when you're in the area. Now, what does this lady want? You see an elderly lady cleaning a large clay pot. A small grey cat is walking around her meowing. She notices your regalia and begins to cry. Are you one of those, uh, one of the paladins? My son is in the Royal Army. Have you seen him? His name is Harold. He went to the northern part of Forestria a month ago and never came back. I told him not to go across the swamp, but he never listened. Are you going north? If you find him, please bring him back. Please find my son. So there's another quest on the list. So, that's telling you to go to the swamp, so we'll go to the swamp. I might just kick this guy's ass on the way. We can do it. Bang. Wait. Fire. Fire. Go get him. I think another sort of unique kind of um, unit to the, this particular world. I don't recall that kind of thing in Heroes of Might and Magic. I remember it in Master of Magic. Um, gold. I don't think there's anything particularly important up here. Oh, that's right. There's a secret there. <laughs> um, if you're level 20 and above, that ghost will join you. Apparently, according to the walkthrough. Oh, it's interesting how it says it'll literally join me now, but maybe if I try it'll attack me. I'm not going to bother. But... Uh, Ghosts are very, uh, uh, you know, fans of Heroes of Might Magic and Palm Kingdoms will know the ghost unit quite well in that um, you attack it and uh, if you're fighting low level units, if it kills any of your units, they become more ghosts. So, uh, you know, you don't go into a graveyard full of ghosts with a bunch of peasants, let me put it that way, because uh, you, you're just, you're, yeah, hell. So, imagine having one of them in your army, I think it would have a substantial impact on this game because you're killing people non-stop. And, uh, oh boy, look at the damage that could be done. So, uh, I intend to play that a visit when I get to level 20. Now, the swamp is up here, guys. So, we'll head up here. Got some skeletons. Wait. Oh, no. We 
still got some morale problems. Oh, I know why. Um, uh, fighting undead reduces your morale by one. trying to rush things here. Now the swamp is up here and the way to Herbert's castle is that way. Oh wonderful. Like I didn't have enough problems with morale. This is going to be a, a, an unpleasant battle guys because we can't get to that. That's the shield we're after to complete the, the old lady's quest. Proof that her paladin son was there. This is going to hurt guys. Hopefully because the zombies are slow we'll just somehow get enough goes to bring these people down. I love my cavalry, he could get uh, swarm. Go again. Half the damage. But it was enough. Those were horrible morale bonuses we got, um, uh, penalties we got from entering the swamp will now be gone because they're just until the next battle. So we'll now just suffer. Say if we have to fight more undead, we might get one minus one. But whereas that battle, we went into there with minus four morale. Um, more gold. Looks like there's some very unpleasant things and horrible hydras. That's pretty cool. I didn't bother in my other game though because um, the hydras are so slow. But there's multiple varieties of hydras, which is interesting. Because the Palm Kingdom games didn't have unit upgrades like the later Heroes Might Magic games have, whereas this appears to support that structure. Which makes me very excited for the next game, um, Palm Kingdoms 3, which they're working on right now, taking a lot of the stuff from this game, the improved graphics, the upgraded units, and the uh, improved interface, so I'm very much looking forward to that. Oh, great. I've still got morale issues, well, I'm not fighting undead now. Out of things here. So maybe I do, I'm still just mixing too much stuff. Oh, probably because I added the elves, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot about that. We're going to have some problems until we sort that out. Uh, uh, actually, all the more reason to get rid of these um, these guys. When I go back to the castle before attacking Herbert, I'm going to get more archers. I'm going to get rid of this guy because he's outgrown his usefulness. I kept him for longer in my other game, but that was because I had high leadership and I could get away with it. Nah, the cavalry can just get swarmed and they can attack without retaliation. I mean, look at it, 60 health points. Hydras are strong. They're like the second best unit for the Warlock race, the classic Warlock race. They're very dangerous. And they can attack multiple enemies. So one of them gets here, he can just carve me. My only advantage is that they are very slow. Not good. I've really hurt myself. I should have got rid of the um the yurt guys, shouldn't I? <laughs> the halfway point of the map I can do full damage. Oh, 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 oh. Now this is pretty important in a game like this. Lots of extra experience, especially as we're not picking up treasure, uh, treasure chests and getting experience from them. So I'm going to have to sacrifice that extra logistics to get that skill. I'm not going to waste time fighting her. But obviously normally you would. But we need to get to our quest objectives. Oh no, wait, she is a quest objective, I need sulfur, darn it. Alright, we're fighter. This is going to be a bit scary. Oh, I forgot to get rid of that guy. Oh, freaking heck. Oh, well. I think this is a bit easier than the other one. Yeah, definitely easier. The juice is uh, a little bit sturdy, but fortunately they're not a range unit. 
They're just dead leaves, they get near turn into stone, although that doesn't seem to be written in their description, but I'm pretty sure they've probably still got that ability in this one. Otherwise, what's the point? Spell scroll. Hey, you can use magic now. The slow spell, critical in this game, especially if you, uh, through these quests, get earth magic, because then you can cast mass slow, critical in a game like this, especially if you're going with the range attack option like I am. It almost feels like a Heroes of Might magic game when you get some sulfur up there, doesn't it? <laughs> talking about King's Bounty. I have all the newer King's Bounty, but I'm yet to play them. I'm really looking forward to them, uh, playing them, though. I bought every single one of them. Bye-bye. You're no longer needed. And that means I can split the elves. Should have done it a while back, shouldn't I? Alright, let's do this. Because there's more of them this time. We need to be efficient. We need to get the turns in. Wait. Look at that. Nice one, guys. Close, aren't they, guys? I won't get an extra move. Oh, thank goodness. Right. Yes, point blank range. Ow. It's alright, he took the hit pretty well. Yes, look at that. Another flawless victory. Ooh, I know that. The old clover artifact gives you some luck, I think. This herb looks different. I wonder if it can be useful. Increases your luck by one. Yep, there we go. Let's have a look. It's up there. I'm over level five now, so I can put this here so people can't run away from me. Good, good, good. Witch hut. The old wooden house looks suspicious. Hesitantly, you knock on the door. Inside the house, you find an old witch. Who's there? Are you from the Apocryphy? You smell really good, sniff sniff. Come closer, I can I can't see you. Who's there? Are you from here? Uh, doesn't really give you the quest details properly, but bring medicine to the witch. It's basically the quest. So you got a yeah, it's a bit annoying. You have to make a few trips into this swamp into the other one between the two. Spell people. I just treasury. This is really good, but I'm going to leave that.